Daily Devotion with Pastor Bola for May 14, 2020, from Deuteronomy and from the Book of Numbers, the release of Moses. Just like Aaron, Moses would be released in a similar way by going up the mountain. But for Moses, things would be a little bit different. Let's start with Numbers chapter 27, beginning with verse 12. The Lord said to Moses, Go up into this mountain on Abram, and see the land that I have given to the people of Israel. And when you have seen it, you also shall be gathered to your people, as your brother Aaron was. So again, Moses goes up on the mountain to be released, so to speak. Let's continue with verse 18. So the Lord said to Moses, Take Joshua, the son of Nun, a man in whom is the Spirit, and lay your hand on him. Make him stand before Eleazar, the priest, and all the congregation, and you shall commission him in their sight. Now we have Moses coming back, you could say, and doing an installation service. God had named his predecessor. That was going to be Joshua. Joshua was going to take over. And now the people of Israel needed to know that it's now Joshua. So this had to be in a public ceremony so that the people of Israel could see and notice that the priest was there. Remember, the priest serves God. And so it was very appropriate for the priest to be there in a special ceremony, a special religious ceremony for the transferring of Moses to Joshua. But now let's go to De Deuteronomy chapter 34, beginning with verse 5. So Moses, the servant of the Lord, died there in the land of Moab, according to the word of the Lord, and he buried him in the valley of the land of Moab, opposite of Beth Peor. But no one knows the place of his burial to this day, Moses was 120 years old when he died. His eyes was undimmed and his vigor unabated. Wow, 120 years old. And his vigor was still there and his eyesight was good. I'm a little bit jealous. What is better, to be with Christ or to actually set foot in the promised land? The answer is to be with Christ. Moses was indeed blessed by God. Blessed for the 40 years in the wilderness, blessed for a whole total of 120 years, blessed and is now with Christ. But he didn't get to see the promised land. That's okay. But he didn't get to set foot in the promised land. He got to see it, but he didn't lead the people across the Jordan into the promised land. Does that mean his life didn't accomplish what it was supposed to? No. God called Moses to lead the people, and now God releases Moses and gives Moses the gift of eternal life. Yes, Moses didn't get to walk into the promised land, but it doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things. It is better to be with Christ. Our achievements don't gain us entrance into heaven. That's given to us by God's grace. So for Moses, Aaron, and all who die in Christ, believing and trusting in Christ, they receive the gift of paradise. No tears, no woulda, coulda, shoulda, no guilt, just pure joy, released from the duties of this world to be with Christ for the rest of eternity. There is no better life than that. Join me again tomorrow as we find out how Joshua takes over. God's peace and many blessings be with you. Thank you for watching, and please share this video with others. If you have enjoyed these daily devotions, please consider making a donation to Peace Lutheran Church, 24024 West Main Street, Plainfield, Illinois, 60544. Thank you again for watching.